Hi, today I'm going to discuss mobile home parks with you. I love mobile home parks. Uh, one of the reasons I love mobile home parks is because you don't own the mobile homes usually. Uh, although in some parks the owners do own the homes, but most parks they do not. Uh, they are also taxed as raw land. So this is why I like mobile home parks and I'm going to explain it to you right now. I always look for a mobile home park that has a 10% cap rate or better. And they're not that hard to find in mobile home parks. Uh, number one, number two actually, try to find a park that has bad management because you can replace the management and turn the park around. Also, look for a park that has rents under market because you want to get the rents up to market. But you're going to buy it at the current rents, not at pro forma rents. You also need to find a park where expenses can be sub-metered. Some of them uh, have a master meter. I don't like those, but you can have them sub-metered. I like that much better. Find a park in a stable and growing market. You can get the demographics from the city and see where the stable and growing markets are. Also, you can negotiate directly with the park owners. Uh, sometimes you have to use an agent, but uh, most of the time you sit there and you talk to the owners and things can be worked out much better that way. You also can structure good deals into great de deals. This is supposed to be deals, not details. So uh, anyway, these are the basics of a very good deal. Now, can you buy these with low or no money down? Yes, you can. Over here, I'm going to explain that. First thing you got to do is find one that's free and clear. And there are a whole bunch of them out there that are free and clear. As you can see with free and clear, you can do a lot of things. Some owners will carry the entire note, 100% of the note. They might be getting exactly the same money and not have to do anything at all. I kind of like that concept. And you can assume the current mortgage on there. Let's say it's a 70% loan to value. You can assume the 70% and then you can find private money to fund the other 30%. You're getting in with little or no money down at all. But remember, one of the most important things about mobile home parks is they are taxed at raw land. Because the only thing that's on them are those slabs. What you're really doing is you're renting out the slabs to people. Anyway, if you'd like to know more about this, you can go to my youtube.com, uh, hashtag Floyd Loans. Be sure to put the hashtag in there. Also, you can go to Facebook, Floyd Loans. Twitter is at Floyd Loans. And my email address is floyd at woodrumfinancial.com.